an understanding. God will give you. You know, you know one of the problems we have with God is that we doubt so much. Today is your day of remembrance. Good morning, friends. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, friends. We bless the name of the Lord for seeing 30th of uh, January um, 2021. Give God praise. It has been um, a month of laying a better foundation, a lot of prayers, fasting, um, a lot of uh, teachings and seminars going on um, for our benefit. So the Lord has been awesome. We give God praise. We thank Him for a new day that He has given us grace to see and we will appreciate Him. He will do more. I welcome all of you to our flourishing hour this morning. Uh, my name is Apostle Sirius Shedrach. I'm the senior pastor of Land of Flourish. Um, you're welcome. Please stay tuned. I'll be right back. God bless you. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Ah! Oh, what? My ID found. I see him. Ah, sorry. Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. Welcome back. Um, we have been on the topic um, which says laying a better foundation for yourself, 2021. And the program has been awesome. Um, the MAVG, which is today by His Grace, is going to be um, the 28th night of it. It's been wonderful. A lot of testimonies of um, God have restored life and destiny. Some people, some persons have lost their job, uh, came two, three times. They were caught back. God have taken away sicknesses and barrenness and a lot of um, uh, uh, things causing agony and setbacks. So, God has been faithful. By His grace, we are closing tomorrow. Being Sunday, it's going to be a wonderful service. Our covenant service and our communion and also anointing. So we launch you fully into 2021. And it's going to be a great year. Hallelujah. So I'm inviting every one of us tomorrow, Sunday. Um, it's going to be in the morning, 8 o'clock, by the special grace of God. Um, we'll commence. And you're not going to regret the service. It's going to be impactful. It's going to change your life in the name of Jesus Christ. But um, let's go straight to the topic of um, this day, this morning. Though we are still on the lane of better foundation, but there are topics uh, we are going to concentrate this morning. And as we listen and obey, may you benefit from East in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I want to be discussing with us this morning on a topic that says, go for God. Go for God. Okay. Not just the blessings. You know, a lot of us, we, we, we rather go for the blessings than go you for, I mean, the, 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 the owner of the blessings. So, and at times, it doesn't, that is why most of us Christians or most people, uh, we'll spend years in praying for some certain things. We'll keep moving, we'll keep going because we are praying our means. We have not done the right thing. We keep focusing on um, the aftermath of what we're supposed to do. And you see, you can't have it because the word of God cannot be broken. Okay, the word of God cannot be broken. So I uh, think the first thing in life and the first thing we're going to do this year, 2021, is. Let us go for God, then the blessings will come. He's a giver of the blessing, he's a giver of all. Hallelujah. You know, at a point, Joshua says, say, I am the children God has given to me. He was talking. He personalized it. He said, We are for signs and water. We are going to serve the Lord. We are going to serve 
the law. Now, it, it decided, he made a decision, okay, oh, since life, good health, sources, prosperity, etc. Every good thing coming from the hand of God, I think, let me seek God first. But, you know, in some, some other cases, the reverse is the case we rather seek for. You know, some people begin to lie, prosperity, houses, cars, and so many other things, but they never come true because you have never seek the owner. You have never gone to the right channel. Okay, praise the Lord. So we're going to look at uh, a topic this morning that says, Go for God and our uh, anchor scripture. Our test this morning is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Now, I want to take you from our verse of concentration is 33, but I would like us to take it from, um, let's take it from 31, okay, let's take it from 31, okay, 29, look at what the Bible says, it says, I yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of those, okay, these field. Okay, wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Now, I never knew even that the grass are clothed with clothes. There is something that God used to clothe the grass. That means the grasses you see in the field are clothed. And it's only God that knows what he used to clothe them. That is a mystery. Now, the scripture was saying, if God can clothe a grass that today is alive, tomorrow is caught and put inside a fire, how much more you? How much more you? Now, we leave some things we're supposed to care about and begin to care <coughs> Uh, 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 go for things that is the duty of God. We have duty. You have the duty of a man is to fear God, is to honor God. That's the duty of a man first. Then the duty of God is to clothe a man. The duty of God is to beautify a man. The duty of God is to raise a man. Man cannot raise himself. The duty of God is to bring the cars and so many things. Now, now let's, let's, let's just go straight to 33. Now, he said, therefore, 33 says, he said, for all these things do I, do the Gentiles seek. Now, for you, a heavenly father, know that you need them, you, you are in need of all these things. Now, we left God, begin to pursue Okay, the cars and the, the, the thing that God gives. But he knows you're in need of them. Now let me tell you what you need to pursue. In verse 33, where is our, our main scripture? This one says, But seek for us the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things or these things shall be added to you. Okay, now seek for us the kingdom of God. And it's righteousness. Eh? Every other thing shall be added. Now, the first thing is, what is the kingdom? What is the kingdom? Kingdom simply means a country, state, or territory ruled by a king or ruled by a personality or ruled by someone. And that person becomes a king that rules or control the territory. Now here we give God praise because he rules all over. He rules all over. He said, let your will be done on earth as is in heaven. All right. Now, God is the supreme king. He's a overall king that oversees everything. All right. Now, that is the kingdom, a personality or one that rules a country, state, territory, and the world. 
and this is where God is. He rules everywhere. God rules everywhere. Now, but here he says, seek for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is in a state or a country, okay, where God is ruling, in a realm which God rules. Since we cannot see God, now let's talk about realm. Let's talk about spiritual things, all right? Now, the realm which God is a king, though he is a king of all things. Now, the realm where God rules, kingdom of God means a spiritual realm over which God reigns as king. Or the fulfillment on earth of God's will. Now, let us look at this. The fulfillment on earth of God's will. Now, God has his will. God has his ways. God has the way he wants you that he created to live. Right? Now, let's go speedily on the righteousness. Now, what, when the scripture talks about righteousness, what does it simply mean? Righteousness means behavior that is morally, okay, justifiable or right, okay, morally justifiable or right. That is righteousness, doing things right. Now, God has his own ways, which he wants us to do things. But we don't want to go through that channel. We don't want to go through that process. I want to tell you that 90 something percent of the people that are in church are Christians today. Most of them are not even interested in following the path of God, which is a path of righteousness. What everybody is clamoring is God, oh, I need car. Oh, God, I need houses. I need the best houses in the world. I need this, and I need that, and I need that. But you have not done the right thing. The right thing is to seek God. Try to know him. And know his ways. Then these things will come, man. It's just going to be a simple thing. Because you don't even have the capacity of bringing those things. You don't have the capacity to bring those things. It is God that is capable of bringing those things. It is not you. So you have a duty to perform. And when you leave your duty and wants the blessings, I think it is after labor, there will be a payment. If you have not done the right thing, it can't come. I come across a scripture last night in our um, night vigil. I think that scripture is um, Isaiah chapter Isaiah chapter 32, very powerful scripture. Isaiah 32, verse 15. Now, let me read it. Isaiah 32. Sorry. 32. Verse 15. Now look at what it says. It says, Except a spirit is poured out from heaven unto a wilderness. Unto a wilderness. It says, It cannot become a fruitful field. Except a spirit is poured. Only a spirit is poured upon us from our heart. And the wilderness be a fruitful field. And the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Now, except the spirit of God is released on someone. The wilderness, which is a desolate place, cannot be fruitful cannot even bring fuel 
doctrines of becoming a forest, except until the Spirit of God is released on you. You can't do anything. It is the Spirit of God, the power that, is on, that comes from high, that transforms you and turns you to a greater person, another man. So there's no point of you and me seeking for things that we just not supposed to force. The first thing our area of concentration is how do we see God's kingdom and his righteousness and every other thing will be added. So this year, by the special grace of God, I want to bring us back to the foundation of Christianity. I want to bring us back to the foundation of every other thing you are praying for. I want to bring us back to the beginning stages. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing is going to add for you. The money you are looking for will come. The healing you are looking for will come. Until your spirit is poured out on you from heaven, from our heart. A wilderness cannot be a fruitful field and cannot be counted as a forest. So you need these things. Please take your mind back. Most of us have gone too far in asking, oh, receive your car. There's nothing wrong in receiving car, praise God. There's nothing wrong in receiving your husband. There's nothing wrong in catching your money. I believe so. But there are something wrong when you don't go through it in a normal process, which is seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The duty of God is to beautify. Look at where we read first. He said, even the grasses and the fruit God clothed them. So how much more you, that is the apple of God's eyes, there's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing difficult for him to do. And what I'm teaching you this morning are the scriptures I'm calling to your, um, back to your memory. I want you to, okay, remember, which is Matthew 6, 33. Now, by the time we begin to pursue things that we cannot achieve, now you see corruption. Because you are pursuing things you can't achieve by your power. You see a lot of corruption. You see high blood pressure. You see high blood, uh, whatever they call it. They call it uh, paralytics. So many, so many things will begin to come because you have left what you're supposed to do and be pursuing what you cannot get by yourself. You see a very young man dying at a very prime age. Most of times it may not be the devil. It could be you. Because you have decided to do what you cannot do. You have decided to do what only God can do. And your own part is to seek God and his righteousness. Follow him. You are going to see wonder. You are going to see signs and wonders. But by the time you start cutting corners, if provincial you get it, it will kill you. But the Bible says, the blessings of God make it with an added no soul. That one that God has given to you, there is no soul attached to it. Because you got it from him. He is the one that gave it to you. But whatever God did not give to you, I'm so sorry, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of pains. Anything God did not give to you, or anything you get by force, by struggle, there's going to be some pain. There's going to be pain. So you that are watching me this morning, please, I beg you in the name of Jesus. I want you, let us return back to the beginning stage 
of the gospel, which is seeking the ways of the Lord, trying to know him and the way, the pattern of the kingdom, which is righteousness. Then every other thing will be added. So in that business, please, lay it on the foundation of God. I talked about foundation, uh, business foundation last week. That was on Monday, but today I'm talking about go for God, not a blessing. If you can go for God this year, you will be surprised of what God will do. If you can go for God this year, you are going to be amazed. If you can say, okay, I've been struggling to achieve this on my own, and nothing has ever worked. Instead, problem this, problem that. Instead, BP this, BP that. Someone like me, I don't even know what is called BP. <laughs> because I don't begin to pursue what I cannot do. But the only thing I pursue is God. And everything is falling in pleasant places by the grace of God. So let us return back and follow the pattern of God. You see, you are going to live a very healthy life. You are going to live a successful life. At least think of this life. No matter what you think you have gotten, if you sleep, all of them will not run you. Even if when you are in a dream world, <laughs> you cannot go with any there. So that is how one day. They will look for you, look for me. They will not see us. Because we, are go we came with nothing. And nothing we are going with. Right? So, think of all these things. Seek God. And His righteousness. And every other thing will be added to you. Every other thing will be added to you. So please, I pray that the Spirit of God will give you a deep understanding. I pray that the Spirit of God will inspire this world. I pray that the Spirit of God will bring conviction to you. I have done my part by preaching and calling us back to the things that matters. And if you can obey it, God's word stands sure. Nothing can change God's word. Nothing can hinder God's word except you and your disobedience and doubt. Procrastination can also be a hindrance to the working word of God in your life. So please, have a second thought and decide to seek God and His righteousness. Your 2021 is going to be so glorious because God will bring those things. He knows where they are. The heart of everyone belongs to Him. He knows who that will come across you when you have done His will, and everything about you will be transformed. I pray that this new month we are entering next tomorrow, as you seek God, you will see evidence. I've always prayed for evidence because without evidence, the people will not believe. Now, if you can, you will see evidence. If you can seek God, you will see evidence. Let the month of February, as we have taken time this month to pray and fast, it shall be a month of evidence. You will not fast and fast in vain. You will not believe and trust and believe and trust in vain. God is not like that. God is not like that. Imagine Jesus, a compassionate redeemer, after he fed 5,000. He said, this is they have dwelt long with us. If we allow them to go, they may faint on the way. That means if there is no proof of an encounter, when uh, you obey, if there is no proof or evidence of encounter, the people may faint. 
the people may be discouraged. So I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that in the month of February, it's going to be a month of evidence in the name of Jesus. Because you have obeyed, God will heal you perfectly well. Your healing is coming with a speed in Jesus' name. Because you have obeyed, your business is rising. God knows how to bring back the things that are dead. He's the only one that are capable of doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, because you have believed and obeyed, February, God is locating you. Things are turning round for good. Things are falling in pleasant places in the name of Jesus Christ. Your case in the month of February is going to be a case. How come? How did it happen? The Bible says your fame shall be had abroad in the name of Jesus. It is God that announces. God will announce you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. I'm still um, your pastor or your host, Apostle Siri, um, Shedrach. Um, by the grace of God, I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow in our Sunday service, which is 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be an um, impactful service. There's going to be a lot of um, uh, power. There's going to be a lot of testimony. There's going to be a lot of glorious things. God is going to pour uh, uh, out his power and his blessings, his glory, out of God's presence. Okay, you are going to enjoy. So please, wherever you are, call. The address is on the screen, number 81, um, at Joakute Road, beside Access Bank. Okay, before you hear me, Boston. So you are welcome in the name of Jesus. This is Flourishing Hour. I will also be same time here on Monday to the glory of God. Always watch the Gallery TV. I so much love this um, platform, this the Gallery TV. Uh, the Lord has been using them. It's been a glorious way. So I also want you to come and use the platform. And by the special grace of God, your voice will be heard. And people will be impacted through you in the name of Jesus Christ. So always watch the Gallery TV on all their social media. Our Facebook page, Instagram, and also YouTube. God bless you. See you same time on Monday. It is well with you. Jesus is Lord. Amen. This wisdom and understanding. God will give you. You know, you know one of the problems we have with God is that we doubt so much. Today is your day of remembrance. You can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man is just being kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank.